Hello, everyone. Uh, good evening. Uh, good morning, in fact. Good evening. Good night, wherever you are in the world. Uh, my name is Hannah Chulik Baird. Um, I use she, her pronouns. I'm associate professor at UCLA, and it's my great pleasure to welcome you to the fifth iteration of the Raised Difficulties conference series on behalf of myself and my longtime collaborator, Joseph Romero of University of Mary Washington. Uh, although uh, Joe has been working hard behind the scenes to help get all of this running, he unfortunately cannot uh, join us today at the conference. Um, instead, I will be joined in moderating our raised Dev panels by Elke Nash of University of New Hampshire, who is one of the associate editors on Raised Difficulties, the journal, as well as a speaker at today's event. Uh, before we turn to our speakers, I'd like to take a few moments to talk about a new and exciting development in the Raised Diff world, that is Raised Difficulties, the journal. The Raised Diff conference series initially emerged during the global crisis of COVID-19 and became a timely respite in the midst of a pandemic that forced us to change whether and how we convene while simultaneously exacting costs disproportionately in underserved communities via the reinforcement of the durable inequities that have come to define our times. In our papers and conversations since that first event in spring 2020, we have explored how people on the margins in our texts and contexts are invited or pushed further from the center and explored avenues through which such marginalization might be addressed. In this work, we gratefully receive con contributions from anyone who studies and teaches the ancient world, K through 12 teachers, undergraduates, graduate students, early career scholars, independent scholars, contingent faculty, tenure track and tenured faculty, individuals, pairs, groups, collectives, and beyond. Following the conference, recordings of the presentations are always made available online at raisedifficulties.com. Following an initial invitation from Tim Howe, the editor of Ancient History Bulletin, and Nandini Pandey, Joe and I have uh, taken the next step in Raised Diff work in co-founding a new green and open access journal as an imprint of AHB. The mission of this journal, and these are some of the contributions to the conference over the last few years, um, and here are uh, all of our Raised Diff speakers over the last four uh, conferences to me offer our thanks. Uh, the mission of this journal is to seek equity through difficult conversations facilitated by compassionate and ethical peer review and editing. Our vision is to support multimodal contributions from the discipline conceived in the broadest possible terms. Uh, Raised Difficulty as the journal will be a biannual publication with issues in the spring and in the fall. Our first issue, which was published on March 15th, 2024, last week, uh, published papers from uh, con contributions emerging out of earlier Raised Diff conferences. This fall in 2024, uh, Raised Diff journal will publish an issue guest edited by the leadership team of the Asian and Asian American Classical Caucus, AAACC, Aaron Park, Chris Waldo, and Tori Lee. And in the fall of 2025, Raised Diff will publish an Indigenous Perspectives issue guest edited by Ashley Lance and Tara Wells. In addition to these guest edited issues, we invite submissions from individuals, pairs, or groups addressing difficult things within the discipline of classics and related fields. We seek to publish traditional argumentative forms of inquiry standard to the discipline, but also reflections upon pedagogical concerns as well as contributions of a creative, personal, or exp experimental nature, including interviews. Here's our uh, first set of papers um, who made up our first issue. Uh, our first issue published this month is now available to read at ancienthistorybulletin.org. Uh, um, it's made up of an editorial preface by Joe and myself, as well as three pieces by Nicolette D'Angelo, Jonah Stewart, Kelly Dugan, and the Sportual Europe Collective. Um, at this point, I would like to uh, just uh, turn things over briefly to our associate editors who have joined us in this uh, endeavor. 
uh, Luke Roman of Memorial University and Elke Nash um, with a few words to introduce themselves. First Luke and then Elke. Uh, hi, um, thanks Hannah. Um, I'm Luke and I'm at the Department of Classics uh, at Memorial University in Newfoundland, Canada. I work on Italian humanism. I'm also interested in approaches to building global networks in classics. Uh, right now, I don't have too much to say, just that I'm very excited to be a part of this new journal project and to be working alongside Hannah, Joe, and Alka. I'm hoping that it can be a platform for a wide range of voices um, and perspectives on classics, especially the possibility that it might provide a kind, inclusive, and supportive approach to peer reviewing and also that it might be open to different sorts of contributions in addition to, but of course not excluding the traditional densely footnoted scholarly article. And this could include personal essays, uh, reflections, interviews, as Hannah mentioned, and perhaps uh, contributions even in, in different media beyond just the printed word. Um, so those are just a few thoughts I had. Um, and and basically that I'm excited to be a uh, part of these <clears throat> difficult conversations. Um, I'll pass it over to, to Elka. Hey everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. Um, I'm Elke Nash, uh, I use she, her pronouns. I am a new assistant professor, as in this is my first year. I am an assistant professor of classics at the University of New Hampshire uh, in the Department of Classics, Humanities, and Interdisciplinary Studies. And I'm really excited to be part of this new venture by Hannah and Joe and Joe. Um, in particular, I'm just so thrilled that there is now a scholarly initiative that enables and encourages these difficult conversations um, that have been going on in hallways, in conferences, and elsewhere for years. Uh, echoing Luke, I'm, I'm extremely excited that, um, that the journal is taking a more ethical, inclusive, and encouraging approach to peer review. Um, as a new scholar myself, this is something that I find particularly daunting, figuring out how peer review works, how journal articles are published, something that we all need to do, um, but which still, I think, mystifies most of us. And uh, at Ray's if the journal, um, I think the approach is really to help guide people through that experience. So I couldn't be more happy about that. Um, and I as well am extremely excited to see what new forms people come up with uh, in their submissions. So uh, thank you. And I'm really looking forward to our conference today.